On the night of November 22, an air alert sounded throughout the Kyiv region, which did not stop for several hours. As it turned out, the Ukrainian air defense recorded an approaching swarm of geranium kamikaze drones. Later, eyewitnesses began to report a series of explosions in Kyiv and nearby settlements. The fact that Russian drones managed to hit all targets is also evidenced by the SMS messages that Ukrainian citizens began to receive from the Kyiv authorities. In these messages, the Ukrainian authorities urged citizens not to shoot on mobile phones the flight of Russian missiles and kamikaze drones, as these frames can give the enemy the exact location of the Ukrainian air defense systems. Moreover, the Kyiv authorities have also imposed strict censorship concerning any information about Russian missile strikes on Ukraine. The Kyiv regime requires journalists and military bloggers not to report on the destroyed military facilities of the country. The only thing that journalists and bloggers have the right to talk about is a large number of Russian missiles and drones that were shot down by Ukrainian air defense systems. Zelensky was forced to introduce such strict censorship against the backdrop of the failures of the Ukrainian armed forces on the battlefield and also because of numerous Ukrainian telegram channels that constantly report that this winter will be a real hell for Ukrainian citizens. With these actions, Zelensky is trying to drown out criticism of himself and create the impression that everything is supposedly under control. Insiders claim that the Kyiv authorities are very afraid of mass civil commotion and are doing everything to avoid it. That is why on November 22, the Ukrainian military department reported that air defense systems allegedly managed to shoot down almost all Russian kamikaze drones in the Kyiv region. Moreover, representatives of the Ukrainian military department also reported that the country's air defense systems managed to shoot down a Russian KH-22 missile, preventing it from hitting a military facility in the Zaporizhia region. However, the representative of the city administration of Zaporizhia, Anatoly Kurtev, officially reported that as a result of the blast wave, more than 30 houses in the private sector were damaged. Residents of these houses also confirmed his words, saying that the explosion was quite powerful. All this indicates that the Russian missile still hit a military facility of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Zaporizhia region. Meanwhile, representatives of British intelligence said that Russia is preparing the most powerful missile strike on the territory of Ukraine. According to the British, the Russian military began to increasingly use geranium kamikaze drones, which is a bad sign for Kyiv, since these drones not only effectively destroy targets, but also allow the Russians to identify the exact locations of Ukrainian air defense systems. London is sure that the Russians have accumulated tens of thousands of missiles for the most powerful and decisive strike on Kyiv. The head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, also confirmed the fact that Russia is preparing a powerful missile strike on Ukraine. According to him, Russian intelligence is actively working on the territory of Ukraine, recruiting citizens so that they transmit the exact coordinates of future targets. At the same time, Budinov also confirmed the fact that Russia has introduced a rare high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft, M55 Geophysica, which will allow Russian cruise missiles to find and hit any targets on the territory of Ukraine. According to Budinov, Russia is seriously preparing for winter rocket attacks on Ukraine, and without the help of the West, Kyiv will not withstand this onslaught.
Commenting on what is happening, military expert and political scientist Rostislav Ishchenko said that Russia is indeed preparing for massive missile strikes on Ukraine. However, according to him, with these actions, Moscow is not trying to cause massive popular unrest and a coup in Ukraine. The military expert is confident that massive missile strikes on Kyiv will de-energize the Ukrainian capital and disrupt the coordination of the armed forces of Ukraine, which will undoubtedly lead to the surrender of the pro-American authorities of this Eastern European country.